Hey guys, welcome back. It's Karen. Um, as I promised, I was going to come back with a second video on how I eat. And um, I didn't get everything in on my first one. Uh, there's just a few things I also want to add. I hope you're all doing well. And if any of you are new, uh, my name is Karen. Uh, I uh, mostly do uh, aging gracefully and uh, just a healthy lifestyle. That's kind of my passion. I love reading up on different alternatives and uh, just aging gracefully. I am 67 and so, um, you know, I just try to do everything I can. And uh, so basically I want to share my eating because uh, as I shared in my last video on on this um i don't diet and i went into why i don't diet because uh there's just certain things i love to eat and certain things i crave and so uh you know just eating healthy and doing your exercise and especially it's important to lift weights to get that muscle to burn that cal those calories you know that all uh, seems to all work in so uh I, I'm not a doctor and I'm not, you know, a healthcare professional. I'm just somebody that loves reading up. So if, um, you know, any of this stuff, just uh, talk to your doctor about it. Because like I said, I'm just sharing what works for me. And um, so first of all, I am going to, um, well, first of all, I love these earrings. Um, I'm going to link her channel below. It's my friend Rosa and she has a store where she sells um, fashion, jewelry, clothes, and she is like the sweetest person. I'm going to link her below, but I just love these earrings. They're a large gold hoop and then they got pearls on them. And the reason I like them is because my hair is long and <laughs> when you wear um, posts, you know, you just can't see them like you can a hoop earring. So, uh, first of all, I was going to go into um, that I believe eating carbs is good for you. I know a lot of you won't agree to that, but uh, my body just doesn't do good if I don't have carbs. Um, carbs, uh, 45 to uh, 65 of energy is needed, um, like if you're exercising or whatever. Uh, you know, your body needs that to, um, you know, you, otherwise, you know, you wouldn't have no energy. And so it's just very important that I put carbs into my diet. And um, I just, um, you know, wanted you to know that, you know, so I do, um, I do have my uh, pasta and my bread. And, you know, uh, like I said, I wasn't, you know, I'm not strict, strict, you know, like I try to stay away from white, anything white, but of course, you know, if there's potatoes, I'm not going to not eat them. So, um, and then also, um, studies have proven that a very low carb diet tends not to, uh, lead to long-term weight loss. So uh, that's another thing to consider. And also carbs are so important for your brain, uh, your um, central nervous system and your kidneys. So I just wanted to start off with that. And also, um, I also never, never, never <laughs> weigh myself. Um, I don't even think I have a scale <laughs> to tell you the truth. Um, if I do, it's ancient. Um, I just never, never felt comfortable. I just, uh, you know, I just don't weigh myself. Um, I feel if I eat right and I exercise and as long as I can get my clothes on and my jeans on, you know, I'll be okay. Uh, I don't know what losing a pound or two and then gaining it back, back the following week or three pounds, you know, it, to, to me, it just is going to get you discouraged. So I never weigh myself. Uh, I don't know, just an example, um, you know, you could see a really, really um, nice looking gal that has jeans on and um, you're going to say, oh, I bet she's like, Mm, one, 124 or what, whatever in weight. 
Well, that same gal, if she got on the scale, uh, could weigh like 148 to 155 due to the fact that she lifts weights and her muscle is weighing more than her fat. And so that is what's burning the calories. But that's why I just don't go by weight. I just don't, you know, somebody says, you know, they're 124. It's like, well, you know, do you work out or, you know, etc. So, you know, it's just, um, to me, the number don't mean nothing on a scale. And uh, I just go according to how my clothes fit. Okay, and then uh, I want to um, also talk to you about my exercise. Uh, when my children were little, well, this was years ago, because <laughs> uh, my youngest daughter, she is going to be 30, gosh, I think it's 38 next week. And my oldest, um, he is 58. And so like, okay, so let's just say this was years ago. Okay, um, I always worked out with the Cindy Crawford DVD. Um, I don't know if a lot of you remember her, but uh, she came out with a DVD, an exercise DVD. And uh, I think it was a full body routine. It had weights and everything. And uh, so I, when my children were little, that's what I did. You know, I did that diligently. And I don't know, I just always, always felt better when I worked out. And I also love to walk. But I also didn't eat as well as I do now. And, um, and so I wasn't quite at the weight that I am now or, you know, the size. But um, basically, I always, always wanted to exercise. And, um, you know, there's times, you know, like, I don't want to, I just make myself. But after I do it, I feel so much better. And my favorite exercise is walking. But like in the winter, we had such a cold winter. Uh, you know, I live in the south. And so this winter has been brutal and I'm not used to it. And so I wasn't able to walk and I wasn't able to um, you know, walk and that just kills me because I love walking and that's my favorite exercise. And plus I add uh, weights into my routine. But uh, anyway, I did come, I did get a treadmill. It's a um, treadmill that doesn't take up much room. It's a slim line. And so you can just shove it under the bed or put it in a closet if you want. But um, it's, it's really nice. But I also lift weights, um, and so I, I guess that's um, what helps me burn calories of carbs and everything. And um, and so it's very important, you know, that you add that into your routine. Just find some kind of a weightlifting routine. There's so many good ones on YouTube. Um, I have a kettle kettlebell. I love that too. You know, it's just add something different. So it's not so boring. Uh, I'm going to um, insert my three minute um, ab routine because I know a lot of you have busy lives and, um, you know, three minutes, you know, you could probably do that before you go to work or when you get home. So I'll link that above. Uh, it's just an uh, ab routine. It's it's just good, you know, to add something into the day if you if you just don't have the time. Uh, okay, so the fourth thing I want to talk to you about is um, it's stretching. And I'm not talking about stretching before you exercise or after. I'm talking about an actual stretching uh, exercise routine. Uh, uh, let's see. I got her name here. Uh, Miranda Esmond White. Uh, she is a former ballerina. And I found her on the TV a few years ago. And uh, she was just really, really interesting. And uh, she actually has uh, stretching workout routines. Um, she, uh, after years of being a ballerina, she, her body kind of suffered from uh, that. And so as she um, got out of that, she got into developing stretching, which has um, also helped her as far as um, staying in shape and, you know, keeping her body in shape. 
she claims that she does it once a day and uh, she doesn't have to do nothing else unless, you know, something would come along like um, playing tennis or something. So she is very, very um, good. And I did, um, I used to um, tape her programs, but my favorite one was the spine routine. Uh, according to her, if you diligently do it, um, you know, a few times a week or whatever. Uh, she did teach classes, um, and now I don't know if she still does, but according to her, her students um, told her that they have uh, elongated their body by an inch or so. But uh, it's just important. Um, the stretching is very good for your body. It's good for your spine. And uh, so I'm sure like if you put her name, I'll link her name uh, above or put it below, but if you put that into your whatever kind of TV you have or program, I'm sure you can find her um, workouts. And um, But the one that I like doing is a spine workout. But she has it, like every part of the body and it's just really amazing. So uh, I just wanted to add that in, that that's another good thing to incorporate. And um, also, you know, uh, I do drink water a lot. <laughs> um, in the winter, it's a little bit hard, you know, when it's cold, but I have a water, I put my water through a filter and uh, it's just so important. I never had trouble drinking water. I just always craved it. And, um, you know, if you have trouble drinking water, I would suggest maybe adding a green tea bag or flavoring flavoring it you know you don't want to use a real sugary flavor but sweetener but you know you can find certain things um to flavor the water so uh it's very very important also that you add the water to your um routine every day um to incorporate and um also you know uh i do drink water a lot <laughs> Um, in the winter, it's a little bit hard, you know, when it's cold, but I have a water, I put my water through a filter and, um, uh, it's just so important. I never had trouble drinking water. I just always craved it. And, um, you know, if you have trouble drinking water, I would suggest maybe adding a green tea bag or flavoring, flavoring it. You know, you don't want to use a real sugary flavor, but sweetener but you know you can find certain things um to flavor the water so uh it's very very important also that you add the water to your um routine every day um and the green tea is just just a wonderful wonderful antioxidants um also i'm a big advocate of vitamins <laughs> um I, um, I order from two companies, um, and I don't, um, well, the reason I order from two companies, they are expensive, but the reason I do that is because, uh, they have no fillers. Uh, if I'm going to take a vitamin, I do not, I want to get the full effect of that vitamin, and I don't want no fillers in my vitamins, and where I order, there's no fillers. Uh, they are more expensive, but, um, you know, all in all, I'd rather pay more and, um, you know, because uh, in the long run, it's going to be worth it, you know, to take quality. Um, you know, you just want to take care of yourself. And as you get older, you do not want to get, you know, on any type of drug or anything unless you have to, you know, sometimes you have to. But I'm trying to do every everything I possibly can so I do not have to take any drugs. Uh, Okay. And then I also want to talk to you about salads. Uh, I don't want you to think that salads are boring. Um, there's so much you can do with salads. Um, so many variations. Um, I'm going to link some photos of my salads up above. And, uh, um, you know, like sweet potatoes, I'll, sometimes I, there'll be a week and I'll just boil some sweet potatoes and, um, you know, boil them and put them in the fridge. And then if I feel like putting, 
you know, a two or three or four slices on a salad, you know, I do that just so it doesn't get boring. I also, I also um, you know, use um, different types like garbanzo beans, um, drained garbanzo beans, um, quenelle, um, you know, veggies, of course. And um, like yesterday, I just felt like a chicken nugget um, salad, you know. So I baked some chicken nuggets and then I just cut them up and then I put them on top of my salad. I also uh, threw in, um, I think, three mozzarella sticks. <laughs> And um, so that's, again, what I'm trying to tell you guys. I love, love, love mozzarella, sti mozzarella sticks. And um, that's why I want to not feel deprived. And again, uh, you know, it's like, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I just feel good, you know. And so um, I also want to share um, some fun snacks. Um, I was at the Dollar Tree the other day, and you can grab this for just a dollar, and I just thought it's it's nice. Um, it's just 150 calories, 15 carbs, um, 10 grams of fat, but it's just fun to grab this and sit down and watch a TV program. Also, they have these. I love these also, and these are really good. Um, they're the veggie chips. Um, also, like, well, let, let's just say today, okay, I'm going to make, oh, I don't know, where is that? Oh, I'm going to make a tuna wrap. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use one of these, and then I'm just going to drain this tuna, and then I'm just going to um, slice in maybe some onions or diced celery and mayonnaise and mustard, and then, you know, put some lettuce on the wrap and wrap it up. Um, it's just really, really good. Also, there was one other thing. Um, these cheese sticks, I always make sure I have them in the free, in the refrigerator. They're so good. If I, if I just feel hungry, um, I'll just grab one of these and they're really satisfying. And uh, so I just want to share that. Another little trick I like is um, if I, just uh, feel hungry, but I don't really know, feel like I should eat or like whatever. Um, sometimes I'll just um, put a stick of gum in my mouth and, you know, it kind of gives me something to do so I don't eat. Not that eating is bad, but you know. And then lastly, I had to share this book. Um, this is from, um, the author is Lisa Turkitz. And she is my favorite author. I just got it and I love it. I haven't read it all, but um, she has always um, had an unhealthy eating habit her whole life. And she really shares her struggle and it is so, so good. So I did want to share that with you guys. I'll link it below and I really think you would love it. So anyway, it was fun talking about this. Uh, this is my passion. Uh, this is my love. Um, talking about health and um, staying healthy and exercising and eating. And not just eating healthy, but having some of those bad foods, you know. And, um, and just, uh, you know, I love sharing this. And like I said, it is my passion. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, if you did, I would love it if you hit the like button. It helps my channel out. Also, if you subscribe and hit the bell, you'll be notified next time I come back. So, uh, I hope you guys are doing well. And if you have any questions, let me know. And I'll see you next time. Love you guys.